Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Dori, I am a teacher of English and in today's video we will talk about matching tasks in IELTS reading. So, there are two types of matching tasks. Matching names, titles, ideas, matching names basically, and matching headings, okay? So, let's uh, begin with the first one, matching names task. In this task, you're going to get a number of statements and you have to match these statements with the number of options that you're going to get in a box. These options are uh, basically names or titles or ideas expressed in the text. As always, the options are going to be more than you need. Okay, now let's go and have a look at one of these tasks. Okay. Uh, here we can see a matching names task. You have to match the questions, the statements from 1 to 5 over here. These are the statements, 1 to 5. With the ideas or names in the box from A to G. Okay, you can see that over here. These are the names or ideas in the box. So, the statements are going to be paraphrased, these statements over here. So, try to locate their meanings in the text and not the exact same words. Another thing you can do that will help is to scan where exactly in the text each name or idea over here um, from A to G appears and read this information carefully and then decide which of the statements match this information in the text. Okay, now uh, about matching headings. Some of you have already told me that you tend to make more mistakes in this kind of task, matching headings. Basically, you have to match each paragraph of the reading passage with a heading. And the headings are going to be more than you need and this is what makes this uh, task a little bit more difficult or demanding. Okay, let's go and have a look at a matching headings task and let's hope that this will help you a little bit more. So, again, there will be more options than you need, as you can see here. And this is what makes this task pretty difficult. So, the options are going to be similar in meanings, uh, so you have to be able to recognize the heading that best represents the overall content of each paragraph, the gist of each paragraph as a whole, and not just one sentence or two in it. So sometimes a heading from over here, as you can see, they all talk about uh, sources of energy more or less. So sometimes a heading may use the same words as mentioned in the text, but doesn't refer to the main theme of the whole paragraph. It is mentioned, the words are mentioned, by the way, in one or two lines, not as a main theme of the discussion. So, in this task, scan the whole paragraph, but pay attention to the details in the headings. For example, let's take this heading over here. Um, thermal energy in agriculture. Okay? The whole paragraph now should describe clearly, without any doubt or confusion, thermal energy and its use in agriculture. If the paragraph mentions briefly agriculture, for example, uh, then this might not be the correct heading. So, always, always, always pay attention to the main discussion of the paragraph, the main theme of the paragraph. Don't let the usage of same words both in the text and in the headings confuse you. Don't let that confuse you. Always concentrate on what the paragraph as a whole is about. Okay, so ask me your questions here in the comments section or in Facebook, Twitter and Google+. I have added all links down below in the description box. Thank you very much for watching. Good luck with your exam.